Hey guys and, and welcome to another Python tutorial here on the Coders Legacy channel. In this video we're going to take a look at function overloading in Python. So function overloading is a rather interesting concept. If you've come from a Java or C++ background, you may have wondered how you can do function overloading in Python. And you may have even tried it, but it won't work. Not natively, that is. That is because in Python, function overloading is not natively supported. Okay, so we need to use a library to actually uh, you know, to actually make this work. Okay, so before I get into that, let's just briefly talk about function overloading and what it is. Okay, so function overloading is basically the concept of having multiple functions with the same name, but a different number of parameters. Okay, so that function, okay, can be used for multiple purposes, basically. You can use that very same function with the very same name, okay, but depending on which parameters you passed in, it will call uh, the according function. Like if you have three functions, the same name, different number of parameters, okay? You just pass in your, uh, you know, you just pass in your variables, okay, in the parameters, and the one that gets called will be dependent on the number of parameters in your, uh, you know, function call. So what happens when you try implementing function overloading normally? Python handles it in a rather interesting way, so I thought I should actually tell you guys, okay? So what happens is that if I create a function called add over here, okay, and num1 and num2, okay, it'll take these two numbers and then output the result, okay? Now, if I make another function that's instead for three numbers, okay, now, what happens that if I try calling this, let's see what happens, okay? The, the output for this should be three, right? This function should be called and the output should be three, but let's see what happens. All right, it's giving me an error. It's saying that it's missing one required positional argument in num3. Now, the reason for this error, even though there's a function called add over there, the reason for this error is because they have the same name, okay? So unlike other languages like C++ or Java, which automatically handle this and create different function signatures, okay, that, that's a separate concept, but basically what they do, uh, what Python is doing over here is that it's overriding the function, okay? This, this little thing over here, this add function, it's basically being overridden by this one instead of being overloaded, basically. So what's happening is that uh, it's like declaring a variable, okay? And you give it a value. And then later on, you give it a new value. So that new value is now gonna take effect whenever you try accessing it or printing it. Same thing that's going on over here. This function is being overwritten by this one. So basically, the last function definition is always used in Python, okay? So this is a problem, okay? Because if I do this, it's gonna work, okay? And, uh, Okay, that's a slight mistake I made there, but basically you get the point, right? Now, if this likewise, if I just do it like this, okay, guess which one's going to be called? Okay, come on, and there you go, three, okay? This one was the latest definition, so it was called. Now, what if we want to have both, okay? This is a pretty common thing that you know, programmers like to do, so uh, this is kind of important. So luckily we have the multiple dispatch library, okay? I'm gonna import from multiple dispatch, import dispatch, okay? Dispatch is basically that command that we're gonna be using to, uh, you know, create the concept of function overloading, okay? So you might need to download this library, so if you get an error while using it, uh, be sure to do so, okay? Otherwise, the syntax for using this is basically dispatch Okay, and int, int, and int, okay? Basically, you're just defining the type of parameters, okay? And the number of parameters. Both are actually important. The type and the uh, you know, number of parameters, both are important, okay? Normally in Python, it's like all dynamic, so you don't define types over here, like you do in C++ or something. But uh, when you're doing function overloading, the type of the variables is also important, okay? And that's what the dispatch library basically takes care of. So let's actually try running this now, okay? So if I call this one, this should run, this should run perfectly fine, okay? Regardless of whether we have dispatch or not. 
but if I try calling the other one, the first one, okay, let's see whether it gets called correctly. And yes, there we go. Okay, it's now printing out eight just like it should. Okay, so that's pretty good. Okay, so this is basically the main concept of multiple dispatch and function overloading in Python. Okay, it's pretty much the same thing as function overloading. Okay, and it's not too hard to use either. Okay, it's pretty simplistic. So there's still one more thing that we can do. Okay, remember it's not just the number of parameters that you know it makes a difference. Okay, you can also overload using different types. Okay, so for example, uh, you can have string and string. Okay, uh, basically, what if you want to concatenate two strings? Because remember, when you add two strings, what happens? They get concatenated. Okay. So just give me a second and okay, this should be uh, string one and string two. Likewise, over here, string one and string two, sorry, plus sign, okay, and good. So what I'll do here is first call one and seven, okay? Now, they have the same number of parameters, but they have a different type of parameters, okay? One of them is int, one of them is string. So this should run perfectly fine. Yes, eight was printed out. Now let's try passing in two strings. Uh, how about this, okay? And this doesn't have to be, uh, you know, string numbers, by the way. It can be like anything. Uh, so right now it'll print out 23, okay? Because it just concatenated these. It can even be something like hello, okay? There's no restriction, okay? You can use this just like you would a regular function okay so yeah that's pretty cool and all and I think that we covered something really interesting today that I think you will find actually helpful and interesting when you're programming so yeah uh, I hope you guys subscribe to the channel leave a like leave some comments okay and follow up with some of our other videos okay that we release on Python and other stuff like C++ okay so if you're interested make sure to you know follow up okay otherwise i'll see you guys in some other video later